Where do you see the opportunities uh, in this build, build, build campaign for your company? Irish, yes, um, the private sector is joining in some of this but through the unsolicited proposal, although a good portion of it are publicly driven. Uh, the private construction companies are benefiting from it significantly. We in the Ayala Group have bidded to rehabilitate the airport in Manila, which is a major congestion point. Uh, a group of us, seven of the largest business groups in the Philippines, came together to help solve this problem. You mentioned the, uh, the, the airport proposal, and of course it was a pretty high-profile uh, incidence of, of inconvenience and flight cancellations of Alvin Xiaomen Air uh, earlier this month, in fact. Has that kind of caused you to reconfigure or rethink what that proposal looks like? And where are we at in terms of where you might see some decision-making being done on that? We believe the, incidents, the Xiamen Airline incident actually highlights the fact that uh, the international airport in Manila needs to be fixed up. Uh, our proposal is to enhance the capacity of the airport as well as equip it for more larger aircraft. Part of the plan is to build a sec uh, an alternative uh, emergency runway, actually. In the event that such a uh, situation happens again, uh, our partners, which is Changi, who's our technical partner, tells us we should be able to respond to it a lot more speedily. Would you support the building of an entirely new airport? Well, our proposal is only good for 15 years. Our proposal is to meet the immediate needs. Uh, the airport's capacity today is only 31 million passengers a year. Last year, it already did 42 million. And the JICA projection, it that will hit 47 million by 2020. Our proposal says by 2020, we will meet the 47 million. By 2022, we'll bring it up to 65 million, which would be good only up to 2028. There will be a need for either a third runway or a new runway for the existing airport and or an alternative airport somewhere else. And people are talking about other locations. Um, it's Rashad. Uh, looking at all this, sir, and having a look at what President uh, Duterte has been saying about this six-year term he has being the golden age of infrastructure building, is that something you're sharing? We believe that is the biggest challenge of the country today. The past uh, years, we've seen, what, 5 6% growth. 100-plus million Filipinos, affluence is improving, demand for services has grown, double-digit growth in car sales. It's the loudest, most uh, biggest challenge to any administration is infrastructure needs to catch up. And we believe that unless addressed, it, there will be, it will stifle growth a few years from now, precisely why we should all get together and address the infrastructure shortage. The private sector will participate when asked by government. Well, it's surprising that they haven't been really asked, uh, apart from some of the existing projects, uh, in, uh, in the works, as it were. But the Philippines can't afford not to upgrade its infrastructure. You just have to travel to Manila and uh, drive around to witness that. But at the same time, can it also afford it? <laughs> Yes, that's the big challenge. In a mega city like uh, Metro Manila, 16 million people, we need to move people the, irregardless of social class or uh, income levels. And unfortunately, the, the less fortunate are the ones driven out of uh, the core city because of real estate prices. We operate LRT1, a light rail line in Manila, the first one. Uh, the questions were... Uh, we're applying for a fair increase. It's needed because it's enhanced. But since we took over, we've improved significantly. We're now at 99 plus percent on schedule. Our waiting time is down to eight minutes instead of the previous 47 minutes. Uh, we, need, we need to act. As you said correctly, we cannot afford not to move. So we are really hoping that the build, build, build will happen. And as I said, uh, we are trying to help as much as we can. Going off what Rish was mentioning about affordability uh, and the funding for these infrastructure projects to try and fill this gap, we know that there's been a fast tracking of some of the Chinese commitments to fund uh, various rail projects and other infrastructure projects. What are your views on this in terms of there's pretty heavy criticism about Chinese funded infrastructure right around the world and the risk of falling into a Chinese style debt trap? 
Well, we, we, that our government has announced that they do have commitments to that effect. Uh, we understand these are being processed. Uh, there is growing impatience as far as timing is concerned. Life uh, is getting a bit more difficult. We need to move on it. Now, funding is not a problem at this point. Uh, even the private sector has the resources. There's enough liquidity in the Philippine market to fund this. Government then has to make a choice. Do you want lower cost funding from China? It will take a bit longer. Uh, or to fast track, is you're going to have to let the private sector in. Our, pro our proposition is if we are allowed to take over some of these projects, as we have done through the unsolicited mode, we will be able to do it faster. And uh, we intend to prove that it can be done faster also.